Hey, one of the things that's really, really important for every brand, I don't care what you're making or what you're doing, your website and anything you write, anything you create should be very, very easy to read and easy to understand. Be simple and easy. It's a very complicated world and the last thing people want is something that they have to think about. Person who absolutely loves what you're doing, follow all of their followers and then look at the hashtags those followers use and start to use those hashtags on your posts. So people will be like, oh, he understands the intricacies and they'll start to tag their friend and follow back. Regarding hashtags, you don't want to use the mainstream hashtags. Uh, you won't get anywhere near them. So let's say you're making ties. Uh, you would want to use artisan ties, handmade ties, handmade fashion, some small hashtag that not a lot of people use, but those who do absolutely love it. You have a much bigger chance of ranking for them. You rank for a hashtag on Instagram if you get enough likes in the first 15 minutes. So that's what you should always be anchoring towards. So how do you get traffic from Instagram? Instagram shows up on Google Analytics, generally speaking, as direct traffic. So direct traffic is the worst. It's very muddy. So direct traffic is anything from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram on mobile. Uh, anyone from an untagged email, anyone browsing privately, anyone who's put their, your name in their browser. So there's a whole lot of mess in direct, so it will never show up, refer it equals Instagram. So what you want to do is, when you create Instagram posts, you can't put a link in the post, but you can say go to our bio to click through and check out this product. So what you want to do is build a specific page or pages that you only send Instagram traffic from. So if your link on Instagram to your homepage, you want to have your homepage.com forward slash go and then only send traffic from Instagram so you know whether you're actually sending traffic from there. This is an anatomy of a good Instagram post. This is Founder Magazine. They went from zero to 110,000 followers a month. So they have an absolute mass of followers now and this is a typical post they did. So they stole an image, they slapped an inspirational quote on it and then what they did over there is the most interesting part. So they basically stole a load of hashtags that they knew they could trend for and copy and pasted them in. You can reply to your own Instagram post and put as many hashtags as you want in. As long as you put it in the first 10 minutes, all of them will rank. So they did everything from businesswoman, grind, startup life, inspire daily, desire. Because they knew that out of those two or three, they'd probably rise to the top four and they would clean up. They've also done the double tap if you agree. The two best posts for engagement on Instagram are double tap if you X and tag someone who Y. So double tap if you're going to crush it this week. Tag someone who's a great entrepreneur. 